Okay guys, welcome back to a another rebuild. We're doing the Hawks again. This time I I like to think I'm more knowledgeable with this. Um we're gonna keep Trey Young as the point guard and John Collins, but pretty much everybody else is going to be um on the block. Except for maybe Herder. He could be our shooting guard. First off, we're gonna definitely have to trade Bazemore because he's—he's. He's, I don't think I'd rather have Herder than him. So first thing we're doing is trading Bazemore. And maybe we'll put Young on the market to try to get a better young point guard, like maybe a D'Angelo Russell. That's my favorite player in 2K, D'Angelo Russell. We like it. Michael Beasley, but he comes with Lil Dang's contract, so probably not him. Let's see about this. Alfred Payton, no. TJ Warren, no. We'd have to get Trey Young, that's bad. We could get Steven Adams, and I definitely would be fine. I think we're going to do the Steven Adams one. I don't know how Kent Bazemore is two and a half stars and Steven Adams only two, but. So our, I think we're going to try to orchestrate a trade. He's only a two star. I'd give up a two top five protected Rockets pick, and then we're gonna try to get D'Angelo. All right, they won't do that. I'd give up a large protected Timberwolves pick. They also won't jump on that. How about a top ten protected Cavs? Man, okay. We're gonna give him a. We'll give him a lottery protected first from us and they do it. So if we get a lottery pick, which I don't think we will, I don't really think that there's great players in this 2019 draft outside of the lottery. Maybe there's some sleepers though. Like Sekou Dumbaya. Okay, I think we're gonna try Lynn back for our pick. Because I realize, how, I mean, I will do that. Nets, 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 nets. Alright, all we need is 12. I think this could be easy. They have a lot of bad contracts. Okay, they could do this one. They need a 2020? Yeah, I'll do that. I don't know much about the 2020 drafts. Okay, boys. So, so far, our starting five is D'Angelo Russell, Kevin Herter, Torian Prince, John Collins, Steven Adams. I'm okay with, I'm gonna try to flip. Okay, I'm gonna try to get, this might sound a little crazy, but I'm gonna see if we can get Clay Thompson. He's an 89, he only has one year left on this deal, okay. Let me see how many stars he has. Okay, so he's not that hard to trade for. I'm not giving up. I might. I'll give up Torian. Okay, we're close. We're close. Um, Herder, and we just need like twelve million. We definitely have some Pumley, and then we want House, which is not on the team anymore. I don't think. And Damian Jones, and we'll give up. We'll give up an unprotected first round 19 pick. Oh no, we are not giving that up. Wait. Oh yeah, we will, we will. And then we'll give a... No. We'll give a 2021 20, second round. And... Okay, they won't do that. What about Bradley Beal? Would they do Beal? Okay, they would. Okay, no. He's still four stars. Prince. Hooter. Hooter. No. Let's see. We need a 80, I don't want JJ Redick, cause he's 
Nah, he's making too much money. I want an 81 plus overall. Shooting guard. I don't really care about the minimum height. I just want him to be a shooting guard. Well, these ones down here. See, Jalen Brown, Gary Harris. I mean, Chris Middleton. We could put him at small forward, but he only has a year left. Let's see if we can get Gary Harris. I mean, we're not giving up D'Angelo. Hmm, he's three stars, so we could definitely substitute. How much? Okay. It depends on how much they value these guys, like Deadman, one and a half, and then we'll give him a dump, like Dudley. All right, and then Monte Morris. And all they want is a. Well, we won't give him that. We'll give him a. We'll give him a. Here's what we'll do then. We'll give him a 2019. No, what, do we have any more first? Yes, we do, but it's a protection backup. Um, we'll give him a 2019 swap best pick. Let's see if it'll do that. Ooh. All right. We'll just give him an unprotected 2019 first round pick. What we want. We'll take a top 10 protected. Mm. How about a lottery protected? If they won't do a lottery protected, okay. We want something. We want a 2019. Wait. We can protect this one, right? They wouldn't do a second, would they? We'll give them an unprotected if they give us a 2019 lottery protected. They should do that, right? No. We'll give them a second. We'll give them another second, though. Will they do that? Actually, I'd rather give up another player. I don't want one. I'd, I'd rather give him, like, he only has one star value. Who has Justin Anderson? No. Herder? He's not already in it. But he only has one star. Other than these top three guys. Here's what I do. You know what? I think I'll do that. What? I'll do that. Blockbuster trade. But anyway, let's see. We only have like one pick, do we? Don't we? Yeah, we only have one first round pick. And that's this year. But 2019 is a lot of sleepers. Anyway, still, we're going to have to pay D'Angelo. But we have a bunch of protected picks, so. That we gave to the Nets. But, anyway, so. We have a good young 
core, but I would like to get Plumley out and see if there's a. See that that's a good trade, Zeller. But he has three years. Davis might be a good trade. I might do that one because he's young. Okay, I'm just gonna do the Deonta Davis one. Say this comes with some salary. And so anybody that's we're paying. We only have to we have both Plumley brothers on the team for a second there. Um Ooh, okay, I guess technically we're losing salary on that one. Oshik though. How much if he has one year left, we'll just we won't even trade him. Yeah, he has one year. So we'll roll with Oshik. Um so we'll have Russell Harris, Vince Carter. Okay, so let's let's look at free agency, see if they have any young guys we can try and develop. Um have Leangelo. Tyler Eulis, I guess we'll try to pick him up. Um, we'll just go. We'll do position. I think we're gonna try to get Tyler Eulis. So pointing guards, we're going to let Josh McGetty. I think we're just gonna put him in the one, two, three. We should probably just release a release Kyle Singler. Not the worst decision. And then we're gonna pick up Tyler Eulis. Oh god, to try to develop him. Also, if you need a shooting guard, you can get a point guard and change him into a shooting guard. I think get it for four years at two point five. Can we do that? Yep. Okay, so we're gonna try to trade for a starting level small forward like Josh Richardson. Ooh, no. Those are some, that's a lot to give up for Josh Richardson. Joe Ingles, eh. We could try and go out with, will they, okay. Isaac? Nah. But dude, I don't think they'd give up Don, Don shit. No. Rondé, that's, he's a nice, he's a nice small forward. We'd have to give up. Jamal Murray, but we already have a point guard. Bogdan? No, he's making 10 mil, and he, frankly, he doesn't deserve 10 mil. Oh, no disrespect to Bogdan. They don't have any small forwards other than Kawhi. Um, Carmelo. Oh, I want to try to trade for Carmelo. I know that may seem like a bad idea, but he's not a locker room cancer in the video game. Three stars. Tyler Eulis is one and a half, and Deontay Davis is one, and Kavanaugh is one. So we. Scrubs. Eh, I don't know if they'll do this. Yeah. I don't think we're going to. Anyway, we'll just keep looking. Rudy Gay, maybe? I don't know. We might just draft one if we can't. TJ Warren would be a nice one to have. We have to give up for... Yeah, okay. We're just going to try to draft someone. Should we tank? Maybe we should. I don't think that... 
Should we tank for Zion? We're gonna play Russell and Harris and Collins. I mean that alone, we have a good young core. I think we're just gonna try to trade our first rounder. Cause we really, we'll trade it for a good small forward. Oh, I don't know if TJ Warren's, how old is he? He's under like 28. Ooh, he's 25. We might have to do that one. Now we have a really solid sawing starting lineup, but our bench is trash. We'll have CBU redo it. I mean, Vince Carter's, oh, that's pretty bad. Our bench is bad, but we have a good young core and then a veteran, Steven Adams, who I might try to move. Also, I might get a new staff. So Steven Adams is definitely the one guy I might want to move because he's making a lot of money. You know who I could try to get? Rudy Gobert. I think I'm going to try to trade him for Rudy Gobert. Because Rudy Gobert, I swear, is the easiest player to trade for in this whole game. Gobert and Drummond. Rudy Gobert and Drummond are the easiest guys. I don't know. I mean, he's an 86. Um, I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to trade for Andre Drummond. And I'll give him a second. Okay, not this year's second, but I'll give you next year's second, and the year after that second, and the year after that second. In the year after that second. And what the heck, we'll give you, I don't know about that. We'll give them, you let, he's a one star? We don't, Deontay David, how are we not doing this? We might do a trade finder for him then. Because, I mean, oh my God. He's three stars. No, that's okay. Did I do that? Oh my god! I mean, he's This is kind of ridiculous. Here's what we'll do. We'll trade. I guess we'll trade TJ Warren. And Gary Harris. Oh my god. Which is the one? I guess we'll do this one and then. We'll try to trade Steven Adams for a shooting guard. But now that the Pistons don't have a, sh a center, maybe we could. Oh. Or we can just go the OP lineup with two centers, but we already have John Collins. Alright. That's on. Who has more stars? I don't know.
see, maybe Julius, but he probably has more. Alright, we're gonna have to get one that done on my own. So we just need to see Middleton, maybe? We'll give up anything. Here, you guys can give us your worst contracts now. And then we'll give you a good young guy like Kavanaugh. Yeah, we're on here. Do that one. Ooh, Levine. What's his trade value? Three stars? Well, if we maybe Chris Dunn, because when you switch Chris Dunn to a point guard, and then we need 20 mil Plumley, no, here's Lopez and two six mil Felicio, and we'll give Hernan Gomez and Deonta Davis. Tyler Ulis and a second rounder. We'll just give him the second rounder. We're not giving you Tyler Ulis. We'll give you another second rounder though. We're not giving you Tyler Ulis. But we'll give you another second rounder. Okay, fine. We'll give you Ulis, but you have to give us Kilp. We want Valentine. And we'll give us one Dale. We want Kilpatrick. And we want a... We want a pick. We want an 18 second rounder. Of course they don't have that. We'll take a 20 second rounder. See, we literally just offer that trade. Anyway, we'll do that, and then we'll switch Chris Dunn to a shooting guard, because when you do that, he goes up to like an 81. Tricks of the trade, because switching positions, some people think it's cheating, but it's... Alright, we have a horrible bench. But, we'll get some people to... It's really bad. It's, it's really, really bad. Anyway, we can pick up some of maybe. We can definitely pick up some bench guys off. Any one of these guys. How, how would bench? How would. Okay, we already have 15 guys. Let's just run it. Wow, this bench is bad. It's really bad. That's the worst trade I've ever seen in my life. Michael Beasley for John Collins. Oh, and standings. That is the one thing I've learned. You like. It's good to keep the standings up there. We have a good starting lineup. Ooh. Ooh. Would I trade Harold? I don't know. I'd rather have Collins than Harold. Frankly, that would add another bench guy, but. Alright, Steven Adams for TJ. No. Three and probably shouldn't trade our first round pick. We might try adding to our bench by trading those old guys, but we've won four in a row. I don't know who I'm gonna draft my second rounder. Auto overrated. No, the one reason I like the Angelo is that he always wants to resign. And Justin Anderson, we'll give him one. Ooh, Drummond. I think we can get Drummond back. And Russell is undecided. No, that's... No. 
Yeah, Drummond has a really good rating, but he's only three stars. But other people lower than his rating, who are about his age, have much more stars than him. I don't know if it's just defense gets you more stars on 2K. Uh, we'll run the delay girl. Our team is really bad. We might as well develop some guys. We're going to start, I think we might send some people to the D-League to go develop. If you're under 23, see, like, Bembry, he, he's pretty good in real life. In the game, he's young. He's in, we're going to send him back, send him down. So we're 500, we're, we're the 8th seed. And... See you at the end of the season. right now is probably the I'm gonna pick the Warriors to win it all right now in this game and my prediction is correct hopefully they win it in real life um draft well we don't really kind of mad about that any guys I mean our guy's pretty good is there any better We'll keep we'll keep our guys. We'll go to the draft, see if our second round pick what we can get for that. Maybe we can get Nas Reed. But so we'll send for our next pick. First pick is going to be we're not gonna see that. Our forty first pick. Anyway, RJ was the first pick. All right. I don't know. Should I do Sharif O'Neal or just try to trade it? I want Legerald Thick. Tory Craig. No. Plumley. Now. Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna pick Sharif O'Neal. You got a great dress. We do get Sharif, who has a 71. Shaq's son. Shaquille and Sharif. Zion fell to like 7 or 8, I saw. Okay, so we're not going to pick him up because we don't really don't have room. We'll accept Lydones, but we're going to decline Bembrys. Actually, he's a 73, so yeah, we'll take him. Alright, so we have a chance to get Durant. We're going to focus on getting D'Angelo. Actually, no, we have Bird on D'Angelo, so... We're going to focus on getting Durant. How are we so far under the cap? I mean, we don't... We're, who are we paying? We're paying... We're paying TJ, probably too much. But other than John Luer, that's... Oh lord, yeah, we are paying those people too much. We're gonna trade Felicio and Lure. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. That was probably the best trade in NBA history right there. Because that frees us up space to get Durant. 
I mean, Jimmy Butler's available. He's a shooting guard, and he's a year younger. And Thompson's available, and he's $2 million less. So we're going to get Thompson. We wanted to get him anyway. We're going to give him the max, pretty much. We can afford to give him about $40 million, but that's as much as we can. We'll give him the whole shebang. And we... We're going to have to renounce rights on everybody. Alright, we're going to trade all of our contracts away. So that means getting rid of TJ. And probably done. Wow, we're going to have to make a tough decision. Coos, Coos, maybe. Harold? I think we'll do... I think we're going to do the Kuzma one. Ooh, Julius Randle, nine million. He has a. Th uh, I don't know. These are some good offers. I think we're gonna do the Kuzma one because it clears off space, and we'll have the bird rights for Kuz. Ooh, we take on Louisville Dang. We do take on Louisville Dang's contract. Let's see if we can get rid of that. We could do just that, and they agree. Oh wow. Okay, so we basically just cleared off. Okay, so we don't have to... Alright, so now we're going to get D'Angelo back. We do have bird rights too. We don't really need to give him that much because he's a restricted free agent. Ooh. Who are we paying? Andre and then nobody else. But we probably would have to get rid of Chris Dunn anyway because we're bringing in Thompson. So we're looking for a young, young guy, maybe, I don't know, we could get RJ, we'll tr ooh, man, he is old, not that old, but like, for an NBA player, Chris Dunn's pretty old. Pascal, but he doesn't turn out that good, something's messed up with us. I think we're going to do, I think I know which one I'm going to do, I'm going to do the Malik Monk one. Just because we get a first rounder and it clears off some space. And if we still can't get these guys. Okay, we're gonna. We have. To, we just need to clear off like. I think. No, I don't wanna trade him. We'll try to trade these three guys for like a draft pick or something. Like, I don't really think. I don't think. Could we do that? Okay, so we just clear off a bunch of cap space. We we'll get some young guys that we can develop with the remaining money, and we get them both. And okay, so we'll see what our st starting lineup would be right now. It would be wait, it would be D'Angelo. We need a backup point guard. Thompson, Derek Jones Jr. I think we're going to try to either move Collins to small forward or Kuzma to small forward. Whichever one. So he's an 80 and when he's a small forward he's a 78 and Kuzma as a small forward would be a I think he might be a little better as a small forward. Anyway, Kuz is a small forward, would be a 84, so we're definitely moving into this small forward. And we're gonna move John Collins back to power forward. Anyway, okay, so we got John Collins, D'Angelo, Derek Jones. Anyway, it's point guard, D'Angelo, shooting guard, Clay. Small forward, Tom, or Kuzma, power forward, and then we got, I think we're going to be pretty good. We can't get anybody except for Justin. We'll, we'll give him a two-year. Oh, we already, we'll give Carter two just for the, just for some kicks. All right, so we have four million dollars in cap room. Maybe we can get an aging, maybe we can get an aging pal, but he's gone off the market. Ok, 
Okay, so we could try Fabo. Um, and then we definitely need a backup point guard, for, so JJ. And then we're gonna go and just try to pick off some young guys. So Harry Giles, but he wants. This guy might be a steal. We're definitely gonna try to get Costas. We'll give him three. Maybe four mil, we'll give him four mil. Just over four. We can give him a, a bit of money. We'll offer him that and we'll offer Costas. All right, so we got Vince and Berea back. We're gonna offer Costas. This guy, Duval, might be a, a steal. I really want. Okay, Fabo, we don't get Tab Fabo. Tabo, whatever. Alright, so we get the guy we wanted, Duval, but I think he's he's twenty one and he's a seventy six. That's like Okay, so we can't get Costas for some reason. But we do get Duval. And even though Costas he basically wants the min minimum. Okay, so we can give him, we can give him a one year. Oh wow, Costas. So we can't afford Costas. We just need one more guy. We might just try to get the best player available in this case. Oh, we can get Deontay. Or Zubach. You probably won't accept this. Yeah. Swan again, Deontay. Okay. Diallo. Onoku. I'm gonna try to get Onoku. Zizic? Nah. But I really do want Onoku. Well, he, okay, he doesn't decline it. And I don't think he's gonna get an offer. So he accepts ours, and we're just gonna go to next season. We're going to send Malik Monk to probably trade Malik Monk just because I don't really think he's going to be very good. His trade value is fantastic. Or it is fantastic. We're going to load the 20 class in. Duval, this guy's gonna be a steal. And we'll send one to D'Angelo. Alright, so Drummond still won't do it. This guy. This guy. Anyway. So now we have a better bench. We have Duval. Jones, Barrea, Monk. Would <sighs> oh, I deal just? Might try to trade for Shea Gilgis. That is a good deal. I think I think he's younger than Duval. So we just picked up Shea Gilgis to come off the bench, be our sixth man. So we have Gil Shea is our sixth man, and then we have Derek Jones Jr. and JJ Barea. We have a better bench than last year, but it's still not great. I want to give Anoku some minutes because. He needs to develop a little bit. And we're going to try to trade some bad contracts. 
which is really just DJ Augustine. Oh my god, let's do that. Wow, that was that was just steal. I just fleece them. And that really helps out our defense. Or our bench. So now we have a really good bench. We're not really good, but wine isn't playing? Come on. I'm gonna give him three. Actually we're gonna give him two and an Oku one. Show some proficiency. We'll just roll with balanced. We do get the five seed. We'll be playing the Celtics in the first round. We lose game one. We lose game two. We lose game three. And I think I'm gonna jump in. We're down by. I mean, We are down 3 0 in the series, but we gotta get to play some playoff experience. Um, definitely need to improve the bench in the off season. I don't think we have a good one. Let's see what we can be out here. Oh, oh okay. So, yeah. let's just, just check with you guys. This whole thing is pretty. And let's go win it on that. Alright, where is D'Angelo? Okay, bring it up to the top of the key. Foul, 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 foul. Yes, let's go! Oh my gosh. Alright, we just need to play some defense here. Actually, I think if he gets in the hand of a bad free throw shooter, I'm probably going to foul. And so my lineup I'm putting in is D'Angelo, Shea, Clay, Anoku, and Drummond. Okay, so I think Drummond fouled out. So we're going to put Kuzma at the center. Okay. We're going pretty small, which... So we gotta play some defense here. Irving, he's a good free throw shooter, I don't think. Might as well just let it play out here.